method but in this method you need to understand that this method is only applicable when the mutual coupling is not there okay if the mutual coupling is there then you have to go for singular transformation method okay so here the question may be given in the tabular form like this or in the diagram form network they will be it will be given okay so in this question the tabular form is given so you need to understand here the first column represent the line number how many lines are there second column is the bus code you can identify how many buses are there the number of buses that means here one two one to two means it is the starting bus is one end bus is two between one and two we have line number one so we'll discuss while drawing the diagram network okay so one to three one to three two to three okay so how many maximum number of buses are there three three is the maximum number so one two and three so total number of buses is three so y bus matrix will be it is nothing but n cross n number of nodes into number of nodes number of buses into number of buses that means it will be three cross three matrix okay always it will be square matrix okay so if maximum number of buses are four then it will be four cross four okay like that so here we have impedance in the third column they will be it will be given impedance or admittance but always remember y bus is nothing but all the elements in that should be admittance why is nothing but admittance okay they have given impedance you have to convert the impedance into admittance that is nothing but reciprocal of impedance is what admittance simple okay we have to take one by this value so we'll see that thing half line charging admittance is given directly they have given the half line charging admittance so this also will be seen so first step is that whenever they give in the tabular form you have to draw the diagram and we'll understand through that how to write the elements each element in the y bus matrix so let me take here the first bus first node that is one and second node like this two and third node like this three. okay now here between one and two let us try to understand the table so here you can see the bus node that is one and two between one and two what we are having we are having the line number one there is a line between these two and which is having the impedance 0 0.06 plus 0 0.18 j so that is nothing but the impedance between these two lines so we are having one line okay and one impedance is there so we are having one line in which one impedance is there okay so that is given i 0 0.06 plus 0 0.18 j this is the impedance not the admittance okay now next second thing second row we can see 1 to 2 sorry 1 to 3 we have the second line number okay so 1 to 3 between 1 and 3 node we can see one more line has come that is giving the impedance as 0 0.02 plus 0 0.6 j so let us draw that Okay, that is also done. 0 0.02 plus 0 0.06. Next, the uh, 2 to 3. Left out is 2 to 3. So, 2 to 3 also will draw. Okay, so this is 0 0.04 plus 0 0.12. Three. That is also done. Now, next thing is that we have here. The half line charging admittance, correct? So we have to add that also. So here we can see in between one and two node, we have half line charging admittance that we'll add. One and two will have we are having half line charging admittance. That means for both the ends, we have to add what the half line charging. So draw one capacitance and ground it. Okay. So this is nothing but 0 0.005 j here also 0 0.005 j if they give line charging admittance just line charging admittance if they don't mention half then you have to take half of that value then put it like this okay that you remember anyways here they have given directly half so let us go for the next one so i'll draw this 
uh, in each of the lines it is simple for me to write so it will be easier for me to write okay so 1 to 3 1 to 3 we have what 0. Point, so just write it over here 0. 0.06 okay 0. 0.006 next here 0. 0.005 j and here also 0. 0.005 so our network is done now let us go for the first element of the y bus so let me just uh, write and keep what will be my answer y bus is nothing but you need to understand it is n cross n n in this n means it is the number of nodes or buses you can understand number of nodes okay or the buses now number of nodes we have here three right we have three nodes so it will be three cross three matrix okay simple three cross three matrix in that elements what will be the elements y11 y12 y13 y21 y22 y23 y31 y32 y33 simple these are the elements okay so each element will find out now thing is that you need to remember the rules that will just go through first the rules in this are simple what you need to understand if you see here the diagonal elements first we'll go for diagonal elements so what is the rule for diagonal elements so first thing let me just write for diagonal elements what is the rule diagonal elements means it is nothing but y11 y oh sorry 22 and y33 so this is quite simple what you need to do you have to add add all the admittances remember this is admittances you have to add all the admittances associated with that node associated with that particular node so we will understand this thing while you are doing or while evaluating each element okay the second thing is that for non diagonal elements or we can say off diagonal elements okay non diagonal or off diagonal is the same thing that we have y12 y13 and so on okay for this what we have to do we have to see for example i am taking y12 meaning meaning of this is 1 2 right so between one and second row first and second row whatever is the admittance only that admittance will come into picture that is the thing only that admittance but in diagonal elements if you see it is y11 for example y11 that means associated with the first node whatever the admittance is connected to the first node here remember half line charging will also be added to the diagonal elements only the diagonal elements we have half line charging to be added okay so we'll see so let us go for uh, no need to waste time here let us go for the valuation of each element y11 y1 is something but always remember it is 1 1 right so first node first node if you see what are the elements connected to it we have here the this impedance we have this impedance we have right so how many lines are connected to first node we have two lines two lines connected to first node correct so these two lines whatever the impedance is there that you have to convert it to admittance and add all those admittances okay so first i'll take the this admittance okay that is 0 0.06 plus 0 0.18 j why am i taking one by because the given thing is in impedance i have to convert it into admittance so i have to take one by reciprocal of that will give me admittance add addition of next step. next i have here one more line that is nothing but so i can give the line number also that will be better i guess so so here you can see the first line one to two one to two i will give just first line we have one line number one one two three we have second line okay and third line we here we have these are the lines so adding next 0 0.02 
plus 0.06 j plus now what else now we have here one more thing half line charging admittance is given correct so how many admittance should i add so here we have two lines right see first node is connected to two lines line one and line two correct okay here we have one uh, admittance oh, sorry impedance here also impedance two admittance we have added okay admittance we have added simple thing here one we have uh, this thing half line charging here also one more we have half line charging so how many half line charging should i add so from each line you have to add only one half line charging simple thing that means for first line if you see this is the first line we have 0 0.05 0 0.005 okay i'll just add it no here no need to take one by because here we know that this is already given in admittance they have said this is half line charging admittance not impedance so no need to take one by next for second line same thing you have to take only once you have to add that means here we have 0 0.06 here we have 0 0.006 now uh, that means 0 0.006 j we have so add it only once 0 0.006 okay remember this thing you have to add only once half line charging okay so here we have done so we have to get the answer of this so when you put it in the calculator you will be getting 6.67 minus j 19.89 this will be the answer okay let us go for the next diagonal element that is 22 so this is remember how to do diagonal elements separately you have to remember non-diagonal elements so the off diagonal elements the rule set is different so remember this first diagonal elements okay coming to the diagonal elements for the diagonal elements so let me just take one more so i'll use another pen y22 two two. so 22 two, that means second bus second node you have to see so in second node what all lines are connected we have two lines connected to second node what all lines we have see here so i'll just draw it here you will understand in a better way we have second node here two lines are connected right line one and line three are connected okay so one and three what are the impedances that is one by i'll take line one first line one we have 0 0.06 plus 0 0.18j plus 1 by this is impedance okay that's why i'm taking 1 by next to third line what is the impedance that is 0 0.04 plus 0 0.12j next half line charging first line and third line we have to take only once okay so first line we have 0 0.005j and the third line we have 0 0.005j again okay so addition of all this will give me the answer as 4.167 minus j 12.4 next next we'll go for the third one y33 so this is the last diagonal elements okay here 33 means again so let me just consider here 33 third First, we have two lines again. This is the second line and third line. Okay. So, second line, we have the impedance as 0 0.02 plus uh, J 0 0.06. Yes. You can put the J first or J last. Okay. Same thing only. Now, here, Next, for the third line, we have the impedance as 0 0.04 plus 0 0.12 plus half line charging for the second line is only once you have to take 0 0.006 J plus third line we have 0 0.005. So, this answer will give me the 17.5 minus J 22.2 around that. Okay. This is the answer. Let us go for finding out the y12 that is non diagonal elements or off diagonal elements y12 is nothing but how to find out the non diagonal elements what is the rule set for that see here it is involving second node and first node and second node so you have to see what is there between first node and second node okay so 
here don't see the lines you have to see the nodes okay always remember it is associated with the nodes so here we can see between first node and second node we have one impedance correct so that i can write it over here always remember for non diagonal elements you have to take minus of that minus of that impedance 0.06 plus 0.18j always remember you have to take minus of that impedance in non diagonal elements okay so i have taken minus of impedance that's why 1 by i have done impedance now whether i have to add half line charging or not no you should not add half line charging for non diagonal elements or off diagonal elements okay so always remember this only you have to do minus 1 by or you can remember minus of admittance or you can remember in other words minus 1 by impedance between those two nodes let us go for the next one that is y13 y13 again minus 1 by one and first and second node first and second node you can see the admittance over here is 0.02 to 0.02 plus 0.06 j correct now one more thing i should tell you here is that as i said before this is a square matrix and it is also a what symmetric matrix this y bus matrix will be symmetric symmetric in the sense so if i write y12 and y21 these two will be same that means symmetric matrix what is symmetric matrix i suppose a matrix i have taken if i find out a transpose of that matrix both should be same simple thing okay a transpose and a should be same that is nothing but symmetric matrix so this y bus matrix is symmetric matrix therefore i can write y12 as equal to y21 y12 and y21 will be the same because if you see second between second node and first node or between first node and second node means the same correct so here also y13 will be equal to y31 correct it will be the same thing between first node and third node between third node and first node means the same correct next so we have found out the uh, the elements next we'll go for y21 finished y22 also over y23 y23 is equal to minus 1 by between second node and third node between second node and third node we have 0.04 plus 0.12j okay uh, this thing i didn't write the value so this values i'll just write it over here so y12 value will give me as minus 1.67 plus j5 and here y13 value is minus 5 plus j15 okay and y23 y23 same as y32 okay so this value is equal to minus 2.5 plus j7.5 next so here we got all the values so you can see here this is 3 cross 3 so here we have written all the values so here you can see observe that that I, as i said before the non diagonal elements you can see here will be what the same non diagonal elements means y y12 will be same as what y21 y13 will be same as y1 and y23 will be same as y3 correct this is what it happens okay so this is a uh, property of y bus matrix that the it is nothing but a symmetric matrix okay 